しない空を見つめ、君は今の今握られた手の中に花びら一枚。Well, that is、uh, not the song that I would have wanted to end on, but okay, shuffle. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Outer Wilds, and I noticed that the title screen's a little more fucked up now that I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes.、Uh, let's go to the options real quick. Yeah, do not give me any advice, any any tips, anything. Don't don't give me anything unless I ask. Uh, options are fine, yes, because I, I don't know what any of these options do, so if there's something that I should toggle, I would literally not know to do it. I am playing with the controller. Pause time and dialogue. Uh... All right. Thank you. All right. Here we go. I have never played this before. I have not seen any gameplay of it. I have not looked at any screenshots. The only thing I know about the game is it is in space, and there's something about a time loop. That is literally all I know. I don't know anything else. Wake up. Oh, it's in first person. Oh, hello, frame rate.、Right. Uh, one sec here. That's a little better. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars. I see. A good FPS is still nice to have for the overall experience. Yeah,、uh, that new inventory item is Steam. Oh wow! The Mario Kart 8 update is also out now. Yay! I fucking knew this was gonna happen. <clears throat> I don't even have my Switch with me at the moment. I only have my Steam Deck down here. No. Thank you for the nut, Nula. So it's launch day.、Eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, living on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? It's only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? No way. You'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observ observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. This is the best video game. Ever made? I can. This actually is a roasting marshmallow simulator that disguised as a space sim. 
Aquarius launch codes. Oh, that's the rocket. Okay. Uh, it's observatory this way. I guess so. Germa would do that. Hey, it's you. You don't look human. So let's say you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Do you want to go into space? Aren't you? May not have changed your mind. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? So it says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Fly model ship. Oh my god, it's it's Lunar Lander. Oh, this the stream a little dark. Oh, it looks fine on my end. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine on my end. Can we turn your brightness up? So, piloting the ship might be a little bit on the difficult side. Corfi. You got a lot of uh, eyes, buddy. Hey, oh, Hatchline. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let, let's you, me, and Gossin open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less dis delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Blacks look crushed to my- oh. Well, you know, it does look a little dark- on my stream preview now that I noticed it. Give me a sec here. Uh... Brightness is not here, that's right. Let's see. Makes no difference. Gamma! There we go, yeah. Oh, now it's too bright. Hold on. Uh, I wish more games had a fucking preview option. Let's see, how does that look in the preview? There we go. Yeah, okay, I may be stupid about the brightness thing. Uh, speaking of, let me, uh... Turn that back to... Oh, it doesn't even make a fucking difference. <coughs> right. I don't know about that shot. Oh, hello. I don't know what's going on there. They're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They don't- they really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. This projector is linked to, linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village.
pilot seat used by a pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. While it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Arthian history. Oh, it's a space museum. Did the rocket blow up and kill the fucking astronauts? Well, it's launch day, huh? All's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? Big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out in the space program. Just say the word. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically, me. Uh -huh. You think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold such a grudge for that long? Sure, buddy. Why are you named after a rock? Oh, there, Space Cadet. Here, you're living in the crater today. Meet any of the other travelers up there. Remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? It's questions like that what make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know. The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the Zero G Cave. Zero G Cave? Are these guys all named after rocks? Well, I, we literally just covered rocks in my science class. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite trouble, troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Why would you need to throw around something like that for hide and seek? Hey, hey can we use your signal slope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Okay, here are the rules. The enemy will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one that we found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh, you found me? Well, my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Go on. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Alright, I feel like... <clears throat> that is a tutorial, and that's a very clever way of doing that. Fish and rhyme, fish and rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. A big water planet, giant deep. That's where I'd go. What's that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about the first trip. <sighs> the giant's deep. Yawn. Yeah. Streaming makes me a tired bitch. <clears throat> they landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down. On account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabriel wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. Suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. I oh, well, I was just pausing dramatically. 
As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Then, in the middle dark or er, terrible darkness, Ugh. I don't know what's with the yawns, but okay. Gabbro saw it. The tentacles of some hideous beast. Is that all true? Or even Gabbro himself. Gabbro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. Guess we want to know if the story's entirely true. You can go see Di Giant Steep for yourself. Ah, uh, I see. Gabbro is a they them. In this house, we respect all non binary finery. I asked her not. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. Just takes this, uh, uh, oh, oh, super long time to go away. Oh, there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super, super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk in it into any in space, okay? That sounds super er, bad and painful. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. If only that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Okay, cool. Get to it and try not to con concuss yourself right before your first launch. So how does a cave have zero-g? Hell.
everything just works is the best you can come up with, Dennis. L. L. Oh, there's the way out of here. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. All right. <clears throat> I am going to struggle so hard with the flight in this. I will go to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Enjoy my very terrible Tim Curry impression. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember you're training and try not to hit anything big. <laughs> and see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. I'll definitely get the hang of it. Oh, ye... You believe in me too much, Dennis. That's the luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that i put so much time into training you. <sighs> Look at the odds. Yeah. Yoink. I don't think I need to worry about that, honestly. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather, for, good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. So I'm listening to the Traveler's music. I last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. You can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. So wait, are all these guys non-binary? Or are they just genderless? They're genderless. Okay. Cute. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Funky NB aliens. Just think, you'll be able to translate any no my text you want, anywhere you are. Two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that, too. Or a tool, so don't break it, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, jeez, do not break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you fi uh, feeling? I'm terrified. I don't make... Don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Yeah, oh, sorry, I forgot to, uh... Mute my phone. Let me just do that. New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back from them, uh, with them from Giant Steep. And Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? So I wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. It's the first fully intact statue we've ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. 
Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, are you here? Dude looks a little funky. Uh, give me a sec here. Sorry for uh, sacrificing the graphics a little bit, just trying to keep the frame rate a little more consistent. I can probably drop it a little further if I really want to, but I think this is good enough. <clears throat> Game may look a little rough, but you know I am running this off Steam Deck, so... Not everything's going to look amazing. The Interloper. The Hourglass Twins. Timber Hearth, you are here. Riddle Hollow, Giant's Deep, the Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble, the Interloper, Some of the game's ongoing post-processing effects and stuff that hit performance, so I'd bump down something related to that. Okay. What the hell is Dark Bramble? That looks pretty scary. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go there at some point. Alright, let's see. What can I bump down? It's getting better. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this for a bit until I actually get into space and see how it is. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. You're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm gonna win it. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the Great Outer Wilds Venture tradition, aren't you? Might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well, then, looks like all that stuff this is, this is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excuse me. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. There they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Hey. Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yep, it's the Yanni night. Andy? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. 
Sachi provides us with our most detailed look at, yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left, Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Big thanks to those, these additional founding members of our Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, Curdy, wait, wait, those developer names? Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally intentionally launched into space. <laughs> they completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Edel Rock. <laughs> intentionally launched into space. Oh my god. Hey, did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Sachi looks at me and opens its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the Sachi was doing what? So its eyes open and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? So no offense, but... You sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. And if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Warnfalls tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back in to Giant Steep. I don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck, and safe flying. Guys, have you ever unintentionally been launched into space? My launch codes better not be lost. Hello, astronaut. You going into space today? Going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said, but they never did. One Feldspar will be really sad if you don't come back, like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space, too. Isn't Lost in Space a uh, TV show? Or a movie or something? Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Oh, let's go. Wait, I don't think I need the suit if I'm... Yeah, I don't think I need the suit if I'm actually in the thing. Okay. Well, I could go to the moon first. I'll go to the moon first. So then I can find the moon. There it is. Oh good, there's an autopilot. Hmm. 
And there's the bird. I'm on the moon. All right. Dennis, I didn't know you had a friend named Greg. Identified signal. Wait, I can just... Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. A long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. What is this place? Aha, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space pro program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outposts cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Don't the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with Ground Control, Hornfells and Gossen mostly, and they radio up to chat it now and then. And when Ground Control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout of the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's, it's one-way communication that none of the villagers know about. So I never told them. <clears throat> I don't anymore. He was launched into space in involuntarily. That's unfortunate. Is that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. You pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. A spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked red... Or in red on your mini map, but the Addle Rock is a pretty damn small moon. You're a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Talk to you later. Alright, so I'm gonna ask my first question, though I will allow backseat. Do I even need my spacesuit? Because I kind of assumed... Alright, yes. Oh wait, my O2 is actually going... Okay, so how come he can breathe? We're on a moon, how the fuck can he breathe? Go back to him. Ah, trees. Okay, I see. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. 
Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63. I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. The Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Nice. That is our harmonica. There's one more system, though. I don't know if I can see it from here. Wait. Why is there a harmonica playing from there in Timber Hearth? If you were me, your first death in the game would have been uh, steps onto the moon without a spacesuit. Because I very much stepped onto the moon without a spacesuit and died in the cold embrace of space. Alright. That planet is freaking me out, so I don't want to go there yet. But there's apparently a harmonica being played on both Timber Hearth. And that creepy fucking place. Ah, I see. Probably this. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. Ah, right, I have to hold the button. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points into just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. 
We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. I guess I can just leave the scroll there. Oh, there's more. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. <clears throat> Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Southern Glacier in Brittle Hollow <coughs> has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Okay, wow. Wow, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seen it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? Wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific? I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. God, that Luigi spooked me. That's a crash ship. Rumor mode is so useful, the game nearly shipped without it. Ryback, he Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. How says Gavril went back to Giant Steep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory?
Is there a way to mark something on my map? I guess not for that. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna head back. I can equip the signal scope while I'm here. Only if it's a discovered thing. Okay. Fuck. Hey, well, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon. Didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it's put it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Howl loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a or unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Uh, don't I have a scout launcher? I can do that from the ship, can't I? Don't, don't answer that. Alright, well, never mind, you answered it. Yeah, I think it's in the ship. That's R1. can do it on the ground. Also, hey, Ho hey, Sora. I almost called you Horo on accident, and I apologize. Put my suit on and have it. Okay. The seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. Need something from me, Hatchling? I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Oomph. It's gonna be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I better grab an extra axe or three just in case.
Oh, that can't be good. That is Feldspar's harmonica coming from the seed. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Am I meant to go in the seed or something? I launch my little scout into the seed, somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. I'm gonna do something really stupid. Hell. Okay, so I can't go in the thing. Alright, I need to figure out how to refuel my spacesuit. Can't do anything about that now. Interesting that the log doesn't comment on the fact that uh, Feldspar's harmonica is coming from the seed. That's very interesting to me. I like how I can lock on this one. Alright, Giant's Deep. What are you? That's the interloper. What are you? You can fly into the sun too, you know, for fun. So you know that meme of someone sitting in class and looks like they're holding in something until they burst? That's me watching the stream at, per at points. Results are very predictable. I could fly right into the sun if I wanted to. I don't think I do. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably picking up on something already. <clears throat> and everyone who has played the game is probably sitting there like, Oh, they know. They know. But I don't. Uh, okay. Brittle Hollow is the closest to me, so I'm gonna go there first. Hollow's Lantern. Hey, 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 sec hang on a second here. Get back here. Yeah, I'm just going to guess that Feldspar made it to Dark Bramble. And he is, or they are doing something with the seeds. I'm just going to assume it's not the Feldspar that my character knows. Do not confirm. Well, I landed. Do not confirm what I'm saying, but that's just my guess. I'm gonna have to figure out how to refuel my uh, suit at some point. I can confirm I'm a cutie. Well. We've been no. Yeah, that tree is dead. 
Part of the fun of the game is see horizon is go, and I ain't gonna ruin that for you. Oh, I thank you for that. I also would have uh, timed you out if you did. I or someone. No hints, tips, advice, or whatever, unless I explicitly ask. Like I'm about to. Uh, how do I refuel my spacesuit? Because it is kind of half empty. How do I do that? There's fuel tanks in the ship. Alright. Yeah, let me, uh... Hun, please. On the wall next to the suit. Alright, can I run out of those things is the question. There we go. Okay, that's it. Uh, that, that does not look good. That looks like a black hole. I would like to avoid the black hole if, that, if that's okay with you guys. It might not be a black hole, but that is definitely some kind of anomaly, and I do not like it. We don't like uh, <coughs> black holes or anomalies here. Also, I apologize if I'm coughing a lot. Uh, I had a very unpleasant experience this morning. Ghost matter detected? Put your scout into it. No, for fun. Did it say surface integrity 93%? There's a campfire here. No crystals. I don't know, there's something in there. Let me in. Eh! Sweet Neptune. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Was that was that the interloper? I, I don't know what happened. I looked down and there was a blue light, and then this. There's n nobody, nobody tell me. Did I just die? 
Oh, a bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. No tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Hey, it's you. So I said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited. Uh... Oh. All right, give me a sec here. Does anybody else have any new dialogue? It's launch day, huh? Hell, it's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day. Yeah, I was just about to come find you. Look, look, look. You've got to see this. They know my statue... Uh, they know my statue's eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. Now they've opened. I'm not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. This is huge news. Should someone tell Gabbro? Or maybe Ryback? Oh, starts. This is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. I do wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ugh. Me too. Not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Is there something you needed? Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gossen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And one day they just... didn't come back. I don't know what happened or where, where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Is there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Let's see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Ryback is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant Steep. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they, are, where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Well, he's gotta be on, or they've gotta be on Dark Bramble. Because the harmonic is coming from there, and that's also where the seed is getting its harmonica from. They've gotta be on Dark Bramble. That's the only one that makes sense. Sorry, I had a little bit of an itch in my ear. Alright, well, I am very intrigued by what's going on here.
Stark Bramble. Could go back to Addle Rock. But I'm going to go back to Brittle Hall. That's odd. Does Brittle Hall look a little, uh... Fixed to you guys? It's not as broken as it used to. In. Ah, the South Pole. Right. I just have to find a way in here. That almost hit my ship. Ah. Oh my god, the entrance is right here the whole time. <clears throat> I'm here. I did it. I put the ship, the ship down safely. Um, and that the ship went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspire would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Wait a minute. That's not my ship. This isn't my ship. So my ship is over that way. Whose ship is this? I don't even how the jetpack thing works. Yeah, there's my ship. Let me just refuel real quick. Our back line, there's ship near uh, near the big dome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Stop going in the ship.
There's the hole again. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Yeah, I would very much like to not slip. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals. Ooh, <sighs> God. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter. And quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. <sighs> What's up the yawns tonight? Perhaps we could build platforms. Collision, alert collision imminent, preparing for impact. Launching escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. Escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. Emergency escape hash, or hash. Yeah. Oh God.
Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Given concerns about our settlement's stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need, not, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume. And eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What is? What if we use gravity crystals to craft a suitable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Ship hull breach detected. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. I'm gonna have to find a way back to the ship, but I think I'm gonna have to go through the... ...thing to find it, or to get there. Observatory. So, am I going to find out what killed me? You can answer that. Just don't be too specific. Because I don't even know what happened. There was just a blue flash and then... Suddenly I was dead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's all I want to know. That is all I want to know. Don't, don't say anymore. Okay, oxygen. Oxygen is easier to replenish than fuel, so as long as I have that. Alright, so I need to find one of these paths that, paths that takes me to the south pole so I can get back to the glacier. Because that is where the observatory is. How's everyone holding up? Everyone had a good night? Uh, I had a pretty good supper. Uh, Zeno made couscous with some gyros, so I had that. Neglected my question. What question? I didn't see a question. No work tomorrow? That's nice. Oh, what's my favorite or least favorite condiment? Uh... That is a tough question. Do you mean, like, from a specific restaurant? Or do you mean... in general? No, just a sauce that you put on a thing or dip a thing into. So, not anything specific, just in general, is what you're saying. In general. Um... That's a good question. Because I use condiments for different things. It really depends on what I'm making or eating. Honey mustard is my go-to dip for a lot of things, though. So I'm going to say honey mustard for my favorite. And least favorite would be steak sauce. 
The only reason why I say steak sauce is my least favorite is because if you need steak sauce for a steak, the steak has been cooked incorrectly. Steak sauce is good for other things. Steak sauce, what is that? Oh, do they not have... Do you not have steak sauce in the UK? Uh, look up A1 steak sauce. That That's specifically what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of A1, but I guess Recessashir is also a steak sauce. <coughs> In my opinion, if your steak needs steak sauce, you cook the steak wrong. Because steaks aren't supposed to need steak sauce. It's supposed to be seasoned correctly and cooked correctly. Steak is supposed to melt in your mouth. If it's not doing that and it's not flavorful, then you did it wrong. Yeah, see, exactly. You don't use steak sauce with a steak because that means the steak was cooked wrong. Or you're insulting the person who cooked the steak because a steak shouldn't need a sauce. Americans, exactly. Listen. Yeah, like... I don't know what peppercorn sauce is, but that sounds amazing. Actually, that, would, that sounds like it would be good on steak. Yeah, I don't like A1 steak sauce only because I don't like it for its primary purpose. It's great for other things, but it's not good for steak. That is my hot take for the day. I'm going to have a sip of my water before I read this. Hope you all like the background for uh, today, tonight's stream, by the way. I uh, sourced this from someone in a server I'm in. Peppercorn sauce. Ingredients, one tablespoon butter, one large shallots, finely chopped, one teaspoon green peppercorns, in brine drained, three tablespoons brandy, 100 milliliters red wine. Yeah, I don't think we have some of I don't, we don't have brandy. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Mallory. Yeah. 200 milliliter good quality beef stock, 4 tablespoon double cream. I kind of want to make that now. I need to cook more. I have reached the conclusion that cooking is fun. I enjoy cooking, and I want to cook more. I don't think I need to go up just yet. I want to cook more complex things until I get really good at cooking. Wait. Sit. Dark Bramble. This Dark Bramble thing almost makes me think of a Leviathan seed from uh, Metroid Prime. Or whatever it's called. I'm going to just assume that me saying that is just making Nula go... Mm -hmm. And then his dying twitch has gone down to 160p. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm just going to assume there's some kind of funky uh, seed trying to take over the planet's core or life force or something going on. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Is the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. <sighs> Escape Pod 3 is on Dark Bramble.
You know, I don't think that's how oxygen works. Christ. 50% fuel remaining. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Need to get to the South Pole. Rambling all day long. Let me do it for you. I could do it for you. Hey, I'm not, like, completely dumb when it comes to games. I am pretty sharp. I just saw Dark Bramble there, and I thought it's on Dark Bramble, isn't it? Or be right back when I restart your router. Okay. All right, so that's back up top. I need... Let's get to the South Pole. Doesn't look like I have a really good option of getting over there. I'm gonna go up this way and see where this goes. Oh, there's Bandit. Oh, there's Bandit. Oh, it's the Bandit dude. He's cheap cheaping. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it. Anything about never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. So if I remember correctly, they were trying to construct a way to the South Pole, so I need to find a way over there. But where is over there? Also, I am curious, the uh, thing that killed me was that scripted? Or was that random and I just got really unlucky? Don't give me a more specific answer than that. Gravity crystals. I see. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh, I'm very close to Dark Bramble. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Yeah, I'm probably just going to die. I don't want to go into the sun, please. Well, you know, for someone in a spacesuit, I'm moving awfully fast. Oh, let me see if I can go to Tim Timber Hearth. Oh. Eh. Alright. Oh, wait. No.
You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. Uh, go ahead, Dennis. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. You can stabilize your velocity even if you aren't locked on to something. Eww. Okay. Going back up to the uh, observatory to see if anything's changed up there. Tell them anything, I guess. Hmm. Alright, well I should probably check my ship now that I'm here. I guess... If I'm trying to get into the observatory, I'd have to go in from the ruins. Uh, just one marshmallow before I go. I have never roasted a marshmallow over a fire, by the way. I've never actually been in front of a fire. Not quite like that. The Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern glacier. They used gravity crystals to craft a stable path beneath the surface. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned this settlement over growing concerns about its stability. One of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. Excuse me. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. A mural of a Nomai vessel encountering the signal. A mural of, a, of Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. A mural of three escape pods evacuating the Nomai vessel. One of the three Nomai escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. One of three Nomai escape pods that never made it out of Dark Bramble. The Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. That's a gravity crystal. That's why I have gravity in here. Cool. Hey, Nula. <clears throat> Alright. Is that... Yeah, okay, good. And yeah, we're going back to uh, Brittle Hollow. So if I can get... 
There we go. Ruins. Not the ruins I was looking for, actually. Good enough. How what? Shit! Oh, how did I die this time? It's good old suffocation in space. I, uh, fell into the black hole in Brittle Hollow, discovered that it does not kill me. I got warped near Dark Bramble, desperately tried to fly back to Brittle Hollow in my spacesuit, and suffocated in front of the sun. Can y'all don't? Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I check with my little scout. I do too use it. Hornfell's you burnt marshmallow. And scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? Is fuel still around? Feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. The hanging city below 50 meters. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on another side of Brittle Hollow's. on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole? That's where I ended up before. Our design worked, we've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to known as original design, but as long as w what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kosova, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, do you, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can do, run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kosova. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Guess they were waiting a while. Let's see. What's this? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm very interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. <clears throat> Sometimes it leaves its, hollows, its friend Hollow's lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? I suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. That's no moon. Alright, so I'm on the North Pole. I'm on the opposite side of the planet that I want to be on. But I want to look around a little bit. Uh, Ryback is supposed to be here, I believe, isn't he? Aren't they? Ow. <laughs> I looked away. I was looking at chat. Oh, thank God, oxygen.
Away from the ghost matter. Alright, good. I'm back here. God fucking damn it, that spooks me every time. That did not spook me. Ah! It's where the crystals have light. So I need to stick to the light to get down there. That makes sense. Whenever you're lost, follow the light. When you're lost in the darkness, follow the light. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. Wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here. And east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below. Which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. Since I stopped dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. That looked like a part of the planet falling. Uh, I do not stream RPGs, Nilla. They take too long to finish. I was going to be playing that off stream. <clears throat> if I can finish it in under 20 hours, I will consider it, at least. No, I'm not going back to Lawnmower Man for a while. My coal forge district. I Shrine District, Meltwater District, School District. Black Hole Forge Controls. Black Hole Forge Controls. I'm sure that's fine. Trees detected. Thank God. There's a little scroll here. I need to find a scroll. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. It's true, however, this knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn it, I think. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the, be path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. 
Is it, though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. There we go. We could retrieve the solution one. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the angler... Anglerfish? Uh, what's this about anglerfish? I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Malore and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested in a live specimen. What's... It, what, what's... Oh. There's an anglerfish? There's a giant fucking anglerfish? I'm assuming it's giant, because there's a cave that they played in. Oh, I am not going to enjoy this. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. To recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was a little there was little time to assess the nature or excuse me extent of the damage. If you don't know if it's a spoiler, it's probably a spoiler. <clears throat> All I know is there's an anglerfish, and I'm not happy about that knowledge. It feels strange, trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. We just don't say anything, he's just speaking out loud. Who here has played it? Uh, Soro has played it and she is a mod, and Dennis, the uh, Laxton, has played it. Zeno, my brother, has not played the game, I don't even know if he's watched it. But, if, what, if you're curious about if something is a spoiler, uh, whisper Soro, if she's still in chat. Because she has played the game. Generally, though, if I don't know about it, I don't want to know unless I ask. Yeah, um... I talk out loud a lot, and I'm going to be talking out loud. I am making guesses. I want to see if I'm right for any of them. But that doesn't mean I want people to actually respond to what I'm saying. So. If you think it might be a spoiler, it's better to just not say it. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't... Uh, what if my excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system, and never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? 
Still, all I can give is my best. And as Nona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the Forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Hey, my ship. Alright. So that's my way of getting down there. Good. So I can probably find that, or find the observatory path from there. This lets me get back to my ship, check my logs. I still haven't found Ryback. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first record, recreated warp technology. A White Hole? What's a White Hole? There are one, possibly two people in here that are going to get that reference. Also, like, 90% or ninety sure on your last life your ship got annihilated, lol. I swear one of the magma rocks smashed it or something. Uh, it... There was a hole breach, yeah. I, I was dead either way. Because I was away from my ship and I said, it's probably fine. Several know my return to the station to investigate an equipment reading that appeared to violate casual, uh, causality. The Nomai and Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. The Nomai city is suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the Meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. The Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. A Nomai named Poke planned, planned to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. It's gotta be where Feldspar is. I think... Hmm. Hmm. I... Oh god, which way did I come from? those things. Uh, which way was it? Hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, wasn't this way? Over here. There's a lot of water circling the point. Oh god, I forgot where it was. That was my entrance. I'm using too much fuel. Alright, I'm gonna try to expend a little more of the fuel to help me find the spot. I don't remember what side of the ship I came from. It would probably help if I wasn't using so much fuel. Well, there is... this thing. Is there a way to lower this? No. There's no way to go down from here. Alright, so I'm gonna walk around. There was a circular spot with a little bit of water. And there was a hole. And that's how I got out. It was from the little hole in the water. I was about 150 meters away from my ship. But I think I was on the other side of it, which means I was on the other side of this. It's my ship. It said roughly 150 meters. And I was looking at it like this. Which means my entrance... ...is here! Good. Ow. I don't remember how to deal with those. Alright. So that's back over here. That yeah, shortcut is great. Well, I really didn't want to do the gravity crystal walk again. Well, it's fucking disorienting as hell. Eh. What does that stuff even do? Yes. 
find a spot to use this. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai... This writing looks a little different. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too. Like a known as Warp Core, which means so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Or envoy with Snatch. Single festival could last a long, long time. Excuse me. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. Why we should build a new vessel. It probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down the structures, like the towers on the Ash Twin, for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large. But we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the Eye of the Universe. I asked Var or Yarrow, and he says we used lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. <coughs> We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Poke tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel, because Poke is smart. Each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. We'd even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Coleus says we used to do. Oh, it's a classroom. Oh, those are kids. They were doing a lesson. Wait. They died doing a lesson. Oh, God. Damn it, I was holding the scroll! I was holding the scroll. I didn't get to read the scroll in time. What was that? What is doing that? Yeah, it's not. Alright, so I'm gonna ask one thing that has nothing really to do with the game itself. It is 9.21. I end at 10. Do you guys think I have enough time for one more time loop? Or would now be a good spot to quit? I do have that scroll that I probably should get if I want to get that information. Yes? That wasn't a yes or no question. I have time for one more. Okay. I'm just gonna go straight up then. 
and go back to uh, Brittle Hollow. This is just a podcast for me. 160p is hard to look at. Mother f Uh, gu guys, um, I think the ship's dying. <laughs> yeah, I, um, oh my god, it's wiggling. Oh my god. Guys. I'm stuck. I I I can't move. I'm not I'm not, I'm in free fall. <laughs> I'm technically falling. Are we back? Alright, I don't know why my mic is doing that. Yeah, okay, so what I was saying was, what happened was, I achieved liftoff, locked on to Brittle Hollow, and then engaged autopilot, and for some reason I just instantly slammed right back down on the planet. Got stuck in a tree, 
left the ship without my uh, spacesuit, and then ended up getting fucking stuck on uh, nothing. Artificial intelligence doesn't seem very intelligent to me. <clears throat> All right, I want to get on the other side. I want to be. There we go. Wait until you engage autopilot in a way that flings you into the sun. <laughs> Did that happen to you, Dennis? <laughs> Did that happen to you? Uh, that's the first time I watched you use autopilot once and never use it again for the entire playthrough. It happens to everyone. Oh my god, I need to see that happen. Alright. It's going to take me a moment to find where I uh, got in from. But it's around where the water is, I know that. This is a little hole. In the hill. We'll find it. So of our electronic old men and their flexibility will lead us to the mythical city on the hills. Autopilot will take the most direct route regardless of what's in the way. So that's what happened. It tried to get to Brittle Hollow through Timber Earth. water. Ship uses Tesla autopilot, clearly. No, see, if it used Tesla autopilot, it would be uh, ramming into children, not planets. There we go. So, if the autopilot was in this actually was Tesla autopilot, it would have gone right for Brittle Hollow's uh, school, not for Timber Earth. You know I'm right. Undo everything I read. Alright, I read that one. Okay, we're back here. I probably re need to uh, hit the switch for the Black Hole Forge again. Let me go to the black hole forge before the skull. The skull stuff probably isn't that important. But I want to go back to the black... Or, I want to go to the black hole forge. Uh, 
Oh, that's a bit of a doozy. Is there a way up there from here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Wait a minute, that looks like it's on the surface. Wait a minute, that's the ruins above me. That's where my ship is. Oh, maybe there's a path from the other side. I have to go all the way around. Maybe I need to go back to the school after all. Yeah, I think I went down. So that's where the school was. That's where I was. Bit of hollow. More like everything is falling. Oh god, everything is falling apart. You got that right. Luca Dragon figures out how gravity works. Hey, I get a rush from figuring out how gravity works! Actually, wait a second. Where's this go? I will figure out where this goes. Eh! I'm good. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No 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 no. No 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 no. No no no. No no no. No 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 no. Oh shit, here we go again. Wait, I can go to the station. I can go to the white hole station. I can go to I am drifting in space. Alright. <clears throat> I am going nowhere. Aim at the station. I lost the station. I, I don't know where the station is. I'm kind of just floating aimlessly in space. Oh. I can make it.
Come on. No! It's going further away. Uh, I'm so close. It's it's right there. No, no. Uh. God, when I saw the ground around me start to go up, I just kind of went, "Wait, what's falling?" And then I looked up and noticed the black hole was getting closer. And that's when I panicked, when I realized what was happening. But there was nothing I could do. <laughs> uh. Okay, well I definitely don't have enough time. If that happens again, aim at the white hole station and just match velocity, you'll be safe. Okay. A white hole? What's a white hole? I believe we went through that already, sir. Only joking. I believe we went through that too, sir. I could. Red Dwarf, finally! Someone recognizes it! Ugh. Well, I knew Xeno would recognize it because we go through that routine all the time. I just don't remember the rest of the routine. One more run. We're going back to Brittle Hollow. I'm not done at Brittle Hollow. It's a civ experience. Well, I have 20 minutes left. I can still uh, stream for a bit. Ryback reached the crossroads and continued downward in search of oxygen. Yeah, I like Civ. I don't play it very much anymore, though. But I like Civ. Uh, Zeno and I and our dad used to play Civ 2 a bit. And I've played... I played a lot of Civ 5. And I played a lot of Civ 6. Why are we brothers? Uh, because fuck you, that's why. Alright, which end is the north? Uh, oh god. All right, fine. I'm gonna engage autopilot, I guess. Into the fucking planet. All right, which one, which end is the north end? All right, it's not that end. It's the other end. get to the north pole of the goddamn planet. It's always interesting seeing the first planet one explores. Well, Brittle Hollow was the closest, so that's why I chose it. Uh, I guess I'll land here. Inner Hollow seems to be the most common from what I've seen, ignoring the moon. Yeah, there's not really much to do on the moon. Uh, oh, I'm not... Hang on. Oh, wait, I'm... 
I'm close to the North Pole. Not as close as I want to be, but I am close to the North Pole. I'm just go in the right direction. <clears throat> I think I just clipped through it for a moment. This way. No, it's through this way, and then off on my right, I think. Somewhere around here. I keep forgetting. I don't have markers that I can place, and I kind of wish I did. This was giant and steep. Your wandering friend, who is the wandering friend? Mark the hanging cities and the ship log. Well, I'm a little far away from my ship right now. Oh god, I... I'm gonna get the end of the time loop before I find where this fucking entrance is. That's not it. Ah, here it is. Switch for the gravity forge, and I'm going to try to find that uh, those gravity crystals again. Cause it looked like there was a path going there somewhere. I want to see where that goes. First things first, go over to the forge. Don't even know if I need to bother with that. But I'm going down. Ow. Here we go. This is where I was. So hopefully the planet doesn't fucking break apart while I'm on it again. Actually, get through here. It's casually breaking your ankles in the process. We tried using the super shotgun. Does break apart, you know what to do. Yeah, uh, panic. Okay, I was gonna say, don't fling me off this just yet. Wait until I'm on the other side. Remember what the good book says. Don't panic. I understood that reference. I actually need to read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I've never read it. Where is... Next, okay. I've never read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I've seen the... 
more recent movie, the one that had Alan Rickman as uh, Marvin the Robot, whatever his name is. Uh, okay, we're good. Wait, are we just back over here? It's a big chunk of the planet. The old uh, audio play is excellent. Yeah, my I think we actually have that on cassette. Courtesy of my dad. Okay, I think coming over here was actually a bust, because we're back over here. So I get to walk my happy ass all the way back. I hope I don't fall and tear my grundle open. My dad is old. Yeah. My dad is pretty cool though with all the stuff that he has. I'm old. Thank, thank you. Sorrow is older than me, but only by a year. I am older than Dennis by a year. And don't you forget it, Dennis. Are you older than 28? <clears throat> oh, then you are older than me. Are you older than, uh, 30? Because Sorrow is 30. But I'm 29. Uh, I turned 29 this year. I just haven't turned 29 yet. Thirty-two this year. Thirty-two year old non-binary finery. All right. So this is a bit of a bust. That redeem not going through? Yeah, I can fix it. Sound alert's broken? Huh. I guess sound alerts are broken. Uh, actually, Zeno, if you can, can you refund Nula's, uh, Luigi? Since it didn't go through. Oh, I'm alive. Just barely, though. Scroll. Amarato Toro Sorebaro. Oh, now it went through. Amarato Toro Sorebaro. Oh, my God, they're, they're so delayed. Oh, my God, my oxygen is refilled. Where, oh, where is the skew? There it is. Okay, I already looked at this. There we go. <coughs> Finally, we're back here. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. To get her. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets.
Why do I have the COVID? I do not have the COVID. <coughs> I had a cold. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. It's scary to think about, even though Konoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeah! Cool. Just coughing and spreading the germs. Yeah, I'm kind of not completely... I'm good. Kind of not completely over the cold. But... I'm getting there. Hell. Well, now I know what the ghost matter does. Why is it called Ghost Matter? It's some, is it because there's something strange slipping in my bed? <sighs> Yawn. Let me tell you something. That's my Yoshi. That is true, it is my Yoshi. Well, you know, when there's something strange. Slipping in your bed. Let me tell you something. Because you can't see it with a naked eye and because something makes me feel good. Something makes me feel good. Or busting makes me feel good. God fuck. Busting, 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 busting. Huh? Oh, hi. What the fuck? Wind's bird stream. Uh, if we can figure out a way of making it happen, I will make it happen. This is the thing. Ah, I see. I go here. It's the black hole forge. Been for you to realize that the big old tower had a wall of gravity crystals the most. It's broken. I never asked. Why the white suit? Why the white suit? Uh, because white suits are cool. That's why. <clears throat> it's just what I decided when I originally designed my fursona. Ow. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin. 
But the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found, either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that. Circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Al and Al, I'm good. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose that it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, perhaps its lack of age. Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signals on our travels, and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. Oh yeah, I hope you were prepared for the ex existential adventure in questioning the nature of the universe itself. Oh boy, my favorite. Where's this go? Ah, uh, back up here, I guess. So we're at the shrine. Is the Black Hole Forge near me? I guess that's my way back. Yeah, there's the black hole forge. So it's going up top. Excuse me. Second tower. Alright, well, if I go back down, that could take me back up top, and I can go to the other ruins and try to get to the gravity forge from there. Uh. That's not the time loop about to happen, is it? Is the time loop about to happen? Okay, good. How do I... Back up is the question. I went... Pretty far down. I think I need to go back up, actually. I think I'm in the wrong spot. Hang on a sec here.
Conveniently broken on both sides. Yep. Right, where is my way out of here? Here it is. You know what this music reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, results screen music from Pikmin 1. Hi. You guys remember how melancholy it is? Right. Running a bit low on fuel. There was a uh, fuel canister that was left around here somewhere. Let's see if I can get to it before the time loop starts. Also, it's past 10, so as soon as I get another time loop, I will be ending stream and we will be raiding someone. There's something south of me. 